there is nothing wrong with your internet, do not attempt to adjust your settings. We are controlling the podcast. We control the squealing and the screams. We can make your heart flutter, your eyes blur from tears, or sharpen your mind to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit back. We are in control of what you hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your setting. You are about to experience the awe and mystery known as the female mind. You are now entering the Fangirl Zone. Welcome to episode 97 of Sci-Fi Talk on the Fangirl Zone, a podcast where we discuss shows on the Sci-Fi Channel. I'm Steve. And I'm Sean Fangirl S. And tonight we'll be discussing episode 8 of season 2 of Winona Earth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because the crap. ending. I was dying. Okay, so obviously we're not jumping to the end. So let's just jump right into it. All right. Episode 8's ratings, a point one three in adults 18 to 49 and point five seven four million viewers, which made it the 78th overall cable show for the week. Which was an improvement of about 20 spots over last week. So That's awesome. keep it up, Erpers. Yes. A lot of the Erpers were gone. We know that. They were at yes. uh, San Diego. So make sure you guys are watching now. And even though we don't have Live Plus 7, keep watching. Because obviously they are seeing those numbers. We're just not getting them for whatever reason. Right. Don't know why they're not showing up, but... Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. <laughs> Too many people are doing vacation in July, apparently. Right. <laughs> All right, let's jump into episode eight. Woo. Oh, future in the past. Juan Carlos sends Winona on a vision quest into the past to witness both the origins of the Earps family curse and the secret of what the widows are after. Waverly learns the truth about her heritage. Okay. I have to say... I am still questioning everything with Waverly. Absolutely. Because we never seen it for sure. Right. So, whatever. But go ahead. Let's let's talk about her remembering some of the past. All right. Waverly recalls an incident at the pond that she and Winona are walking by. As a child, Waverly had fallen in the icy pond, and Willa had refused to help her. It was Willa's fault. Yes. Because she threw her stuffed bunny out on the the water. Ice. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap. What a little snot. So obviously yeah. Willa. Unless Willa knew something that Winona didn't. Doesn't matter. Willa that, was a little crap. Yes. Doesn't matter if she's not an herb. You don't do that to a child. No. So I really don't too, feel so. bad about Willa anymore. No. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Of course, Waverly mentions that she isn't an herb, and Winona reminds her that I uh, remember you coming home from the hospital. In fact, she gave her her name. Yes. It's like, I got to name you. What was it they were going to name her? I forgot. It was something just horrible. Yes, <laughs> it was. And as um, Winona's about to leave for her doctor's appointment, Waves reveals that Winona was the one who saved her from the ice. But she didn't seem real convinced. No. Like Winona or Waverly. So yeah. hmm, that had me questioning things. Yes. Now, of course, Juan Carlo, being the sweet old soul that he is, pulls behind a car that is motionless on the road. Wrong time to be a good Samaritan there, Juan right. Carlo. Right. As Mercedes Gardner emerges from said car, Juan Carlo looks like he's seen a ghost and insists that he put her in a box a long time ago. How did he? How could he tell it was her? Just because he was I, there originally? I think so. Oh, that's I crazy. Think he knows how what they feel like when they're near you, shall oh, we say. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, of course, then Beth slithers up from behind him and takes a big old bite out of his shoulder. Oh, it was so weird how they had her, like, jaw elongate, too. It's like, ah. Yeah, That's yeah. <laughs> well, Doc decides to, like, get out of town because he's absent, like, this whole episode. Right. And I have to say, I felt like there was almost like an episode missing. Did you feel that at all? Hmm. Because Doc is... Not really, because 
it made sense that Doc would go to the flat salt flat to look for Constance. Right, but like after the marshals had come come for him in the previous episode. Okay, okay. So yeah, I, I, it made sense that Doc needed to find out from Constant what the heck is going on. Well, okay, I'll explain a little more because okay. him and Rosita, you know, when he's like telling her, "Oh, well, you know, you need to be more buddy buddy with your sisters because we're lovers and they can protect you." It's like, wait, what? I mean, I know you were before, but I thought things were different. And, you know, she's like, well, yeah, I know you could be baby daddy. And I'm like, wait a second. How are they okay again? Because I swore that Doc was, like, kind of going back towards Winona. And then we have, like, Doll's issue in there, which I'm like, what the hell? I feel like I missed a whole episode of something. So that's why I'm saying, like, right. it just I, felt like it with this. Point. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that point, is. Yeah, because you had the episode where Waverly wakes Doc up and he's with Rosita. And then we see Doc give that little speech about he's going to be there for Winona. And so you think, well, he must have told Rosita to shove off, but did he really? Yeah, Yeah, that's why I was like, okay, that's why I felt like I was missing something. Right. Well... Waverly and Nicole happen to be at Shorty's and they're like, all right, talking about DNA. And, and Nicole's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. And it'll be fine. You know who you are, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. What are you going to believe? What people are say or science? And right. Like, huh? Uh, what? Well, it's like, yeah, why would you believe a revenant? He's trying to get in your head. Right. But then, of course, I question everything later. But Rosita's <laughs> like, Hey, how are ya? Let's have a baby shower. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? And we'll just do Where it right tonight. Go? Right. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, we can just throw this together. No big deal. Okay. Maybe we pl- start planning this. Okay. I guess Rosita. Yeah. You're part of this. You're part of the Scooby gang. Kind of you help dolls and you know everything that's going on. So I get that. Right. But. Baby showers aren't exactly like last minute kind of planning. I've planned one and right. she had the baby before the baby shower. But oh, no. yeah, that was Jessica. But anyway. Yeah. Right. And they're like, oh yeah, sure. Okay. We can get this done. Waverly's like, yeah, I, I'll just tell Winona we're going to have nachos because no one turns down nachos and it's not a baby shower of nachos. It's just us doing nothing, having nachos. It's like, yeah. What? I mean, I guess you know your sister, but this just seems weird. Like, really weird. It gets well, weirder. Winona was eating yogurt like crazy last episode, <laughs> so maybe your new craving is nachos now. And Rosita <laughs> coming in with a baby pinata. Okay, that's weird, too. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's a bottle or something. But it's filled with donuts, and, well, Winona does love donuts. <laughs> or was that really Winona? who was chowing on those donuts, or was it the weird monster inside at that time? Yeah, I think she does like donuts, <laughs> but the thought of donuts in a piñata... That sounds disgusting. And then taking a stick to break it open just sounds like a mess waiting to happen to me. <laughs> Thank you. It does not sound fun or tasty. Tasty or anything. It just sounds like a mess. <laughs> well... Waverly and Rosita, as they're making the mocktails more not mock, yeah. <laughs> they kind of bond. But I feel like it wasn't really bonding. They were just getting drunk and talking to each other. Right. Yes. I, so they, they were, were like loosening up. They were talking to each other. Right. Yes. And Rosita, oh, let's play Pregnant Pictionary. What the hell is Pregnant Pictionary? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where did that come from? Right. And Waverly's like, let me get my pen, but grabs Nicole's purse. Oops. And sobers up real fast. Yeah. Nicole gets busted for withholding evidence. (laughs) Definitely when we've seen it. Because she's like, did you open this? And, I mean, she never said no or yes, but she's like, I didn't want you to be upset. So, I mean, that could have gone either way, in my opinion. Yes. And Waverly's just like, oh, my God. And she leaves with it in her hand. And she's by the pond later reading it. But we don't see it, right? Right. Okay. We do not see it. We see her tears 
rolling down her face. Which could be anything. Right. It could be tears of joy. It could be tears of sorrow. But then we see her flashback to the pond again. And we see Bobo Del Rey carrying her off and her calling him Papa. She did? Yes. I thought she said Bobo. I don't think so. I think it was Papa. What? Yes. Because doesn't he call her my little angel? Yes. Okay. But I, that's messed up. (laughs) I swear she said Bobo because that was her imaginary friend. Right. I thought that's what she called him. Oh, my God. Okay, if anybody heard different, I need an email. <laughs> yeah, please. Girlzonepodcast at gmail.com. Please, I need to know. <sighs> Why Nona? And this freaked me out because I looked away for a second. Why Nona's getting an ultrasound as she's, you know, going on, talking to the doctor. Like, the doctor's doing the usual thing. Are you taking your vitamins? Are you sleeping? And Why Nona's being kind of a butthead. She's like, yeah, taking the vitamins with some gin or was it Jack and Coke? Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and I make naps, my bitch. And I'm like, all right, why no, no, we get it. We get it. <laughs> but, like, she's getting the ultrasound done. And let me tell you. Not looking. Yeah, not looking. Not wanting to see. Right. Because she's kind of freaking out. And the doc's talking to her about, like, oh, well, you know, you can always do adoption if you want, because that's an option. And she's like, what, what? No, no. You know, and, and it's making her more nervous. And I looked away for a second. I think I started to tweet something out. And that's, like, the next thing I know, like, she jumps up. So did she see anything on the screen in regard to the baby and the ultrasound? I think she got a glimpse of the baby. Okay. Not, like, demon or something weird. Right. No. I believe the doctor would have said, uh, excuse me, what the hell is that? (laughs) (laughs) It just said, is it, like, this is becoming, like, everything for her now. Right. I mean, yeah, it's it made it way too real for her. Okay. See, that's why I looked away and I'm like, crap, what did she see? And I can't pause live TV, so right. Yeah. I didn't and know what happened. We don't, yeah, we don't get to see what she saw. Okay. That's why I wasn't sure. I'm like, what did I miss? What did I miss? Nothing. All right. <laughs> well, Dolls is outside waiting and the doc gives him an envelope because, you know, my Nona's like, uh, I gotta go. And she's like, don't you under the baby's gender thing? And she tears off. And I love it because she gives the, the doc gives the envelope to dolls. And she's like, this is for her. Okay. No, it's confidential. This is just for her. It's like, uh, that doctor is going <laughs> to tear you up. You better listen. Yeah. <laughs> but he heads outside and sees Winona in a truck and there was blood. And there was also the leaflets, right? That she had grabbed. Right. And I'm like, oh, is that blood? What is going on? Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. That was shocking. And it's like, what the, what, 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 what? Because we know that was Juan Carlos's truck. Right. But then who's driving the truck? Whose blood is that? What the hell is happening? Yes. And I'm not the only one who thought that. No, 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 no. Everybody was going Wait just one damn minute here. <laughs> Along with Dolls. Yes, we need an explanation. So, of course, Dolls heads straight to Nedley's office and wants the uh, truck's license plate checked. Oh, he comes so up snotty with about it. nothing. Yeah. Oh, Nedley's like, all right, you know what? Give me a little bit more. And what was it? Like, black truck, country music, or screeching country, something. And Nedley right. was mad? Yeah. Listen, that is not what was playing. Yeah. But it's still really? like light bulb because it's Juan Carlo. Okay, great. But we're still wondering who's actually in the truck because we know what happened previous. Nobody else does. Right. Yeah. We have no idea if that's Mercedes that's got Winona or a possessed Juan Carlo or what. Oh, God. I can't, can't imagine a possessed Juan Carlo. That would freak me out. Exactly. So Dolls ends up pulling because he's the head of the volunteer fire. Dolls is like, all right, that's it. You in or what did he call it? McAbs? You coming in? Yeah, <laughs> McAbs. Questioning him. And I love it because Ewan's like, whatever, whatever. I don't care. He's like, listen, we're doing the same thing as you. We're trying to fight all the big bads. You need to play, play nice. And he's like, whatever. I don't care. Right. And he's like, one of these days you're going to care. And 
it's important that we find out where Winona is. And he's like, she's calling you. And Dom, yeah. I love it. He was just like, whatever. He was like a sullen kid. Yeah. And Dom's, Not giving up any information. Right. And then Dolls is like, what? And it, it, she is actually calling him. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, hi. <laughs> like, Dolls is like, where are you? What's going on? What happened? And we find out that she's trying to tell him where she is without telling him because, of course, you know, Juan Carlos is like, nobody can find you here. It's bad. Yeah. Yes. But thankfully. The blood came from his nose. Yes. Thanks to a uh, sweet left hook from Winona. Again, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Because I know I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, my God, what happened to the baby? Yes. And because of the hints and Ewan actually being a semi-decent guy at this point, he actually helps dolls figure out where they are. Right. So off to the church, dolls go. And I love it. Is he going to try to marry her in some weird Vegas crap? It's like, yeah. <laughs> what? Ewan's like, listen, I don't know what you think, but that's just weird. Yeah. But I will stay out of your business and you stay out of mine. And Dolls like, that can't happen. Shit's going down. Yep. All hands on deck very soon. <sighs> Not foreboding, foreboding much now, is right? it? Right? <laughs> oh, great. Now what? Well, Dolls does find the church. And Juan Carlos outside talking to him. He's like, hey, you can't go in there. No. Nope. She could die. What? What the hell again? Maybe explain yourself first. Just a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Something. Not that. Yeah, <laughs> he does reveal something, but not that. <laughs> I love it because Dolls like, well, I'd believe you more if you weren't drunk. Well, that's not what it was. Because what was yeah. it? He thought it was amaretto. Right. But uh, well, it turns out it's that's gangrene that you're smelling. It's like, wait, what? Is that a oh. thing though? Does it actually smell like that? Now I'm like all weirded out. Uh, it does have an odor. I'm almost positive of that, okay. and I think it was sweet, so it it makes a little sense there. Weird. And it's yeah. because of the sisters. And it's enough to even take out an immortal like him. It's like, oh, crap. So, you know, at this yeah. point, Dolls is like, oh, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Who can I yeah. get here to help? Because we have to make sure that we keep them away. But the only thing that can kind of keep them away is Peacemaker, which is out of commission because it's with Winona. Yeah. So uh, we're in a whole heap of trouble. Yes. So what does Dolls do? Dolls does what Dolls always does, yes. It's like, all right, well, I'm going to go try to take them out. How? Unless you're going to breathe yeah. fire on them because they're, like, playing with him. And he's, like, he's dodging them for a while. Right. But then they, like, freeze him and down Dolls goes. And I'm like, crap, what does this mean? Yeah, this is not looking good. I thought they were going to eat him because they say something about, oh, I'm really hungry. Right. I was like, oh, crap, crap. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I think I I tweeted barely any this episode because I, I was sitting here like, crap, 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 what's happening, what's happening? That would have exactly. that would have been all I was tweeting. Yes, I didn't tweet much either. <laughs> just too much going on. Uh, but the sisters end up eating. They just don't eat dolls, thankfully. Right. They're feeding off of Juan Carlo. It's like, oh, my God, I'm watching yes. this happen internals and all yeah well dolls decides to harness his lizard man and like melt the ice yes ah <sighs> he manages to scare away the widows but juan carlos is like all right listen you can't let them in you have to save winona and by the way can you do something here because i ain't gonna make it right so he does shoot him but I mean, would that have been the final thing for him since he was already so far gone with the gangrene? I believe so. Okay. That just kept him from suffering any longer before he, he died. But yeah, that between the gangrene and then having half his insides ate, um, there wasn't any saving Juan Carlo. Okay. Well, Dolls goes in the church and like barricades himself in. And of course, the sisters are trying to get in and it's not happening. But. What they said was what freaked me out because she's right. like, he claimed sanctuary for himself. Yes. I was like, wait a second. So does that mean he's not really a demon? Because 
Peacemaker never lights up around him. Right. But he did get a little hot being in the church. Okay. Yeah. That was before the sisters uh, set it on fire. Oh, man. The sisters were crazy because they're like, this will, oh, I wish I knew exactly what they said. Something like this will burn like any house of man or whorehouse. It's like the way they said it, I was like, well, sounds like they've been burning places down for a while. Right. So they set fire to the church. And of course, you know, dolls cannot wake Wind it up because she's on her vision quest and he's trying, he's trying. And they're like, well, whatever. The sisters are like, fire will take them both. But yeah. the fire department gets there and Winona does wake up, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> because it was close. Yeah. Yes. We have 77 seconds. Yes. And this is what the other part where I'm like, okay, I feel like I missed something because Dolls and Winona are like snuggling in bed together. It's like, uh, what the hell? I feel like I missed an episode. Right. And my Nona's just like, well, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm good. And then when he says, yeah, you were dead. She's like, wait, what? Oh, crap. Then, it, right. then it's kind of like light bulb. What does this mean? Because the revenants don't come back until the heir is dead. And I'm wondering, does that mean she's not the heir anymore? Mm-hmm. And, of course, this is something else entirely because... What do we see happen? And this is what freaked me out. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, how do they keep the secret? Right. Out of the snow, up pops Bobo Del Rey. Michael Eklund, you're back. So he must be done filming for uh, Dirk, Dirk Gently, Gently, which I love him <laughs> on that, too. You guys have to watch him on that if you have not. Which we do the podcast and on that, too. Podcast. But it's, yeah. oh, my God, I just love Michael Eklund on that. But so what the heck? That's those are my questions. So is she the heir anymore? Right. Because she was technically dead. Because we haven't seen her use the gun or attempt right. to use the gun. Now I'm wondering if she does end up seeing like Bobo, is she gonna be like, Oh shit, can I even use the gun? Right. These are the questions that I have. Yes, and that would be real weird if um uh... Say Waverly's mom is Winona's mom, but her dad is Bobo Del Rey. What? Would she then become the new? Um, Would she become heir? the heir? Yeah. Well, but not till she turns twenty-seven. I can't remember right. it the first episode. Yeah, got a few years to go. Yeah. So, well, yeah, this could be become quite uh, interesting. The problem. Let's go back, Steve. Why don't you take us back? All right. Juan Carlo has ushered Winona to the church under the guise that it will provide her with the answer she seeks concerning the third seal. And you wonder, or at least I did, was this a setup? I was thinking that. Because he had been that. bitten by the, the widows. Yeah. And so was he under her spe- their spell or was he actually trying to help her? I was thinking this was some kind of setup. Yeah. Especially when she the puts piece. the gun down. Yes. I'm blaming pregnancy brain. <laughs> okay. Because he hands her the piece of paper, tells her to recite the spell scrawled on it. Winona goes inside, stands inside the hexagram etched into the wooden floor, and says the words. Nothing seems to happen. So Winona shrugs it off, and we see her step into Shorty's to tell Doc all about it. However, Doc doesn't seem to act as if she even exists. Right. Which was weird. Yeah. Real weird. And she no- all of a sudden notices that everyone in Shorty's is dressed in antiquated fashion. She steps outside and looks around real good and goes, when am I? That was a great question because obviously things are very different. Yes. She tries to grab anyone and everyone's attention inside the bar, but nobody even spares her a glance. Suddenly, a familiar face walks into view. This was Bobo, interesting. Yeah, yes. Bobo Del Rey strolls through the double doors. Uh, well, not quite. <laughs> right, right, right. Because <clears throat> he's not Bobo. No, he is Robert. And the fact that he is pleading with Doc to meet with Wyatt, and Doc is being a super jerk about it. Right, so this kind of tells you... Where in Doc's life this is occurring mm-hmm. is, 
Yes, he's found out that he's got tuberculosis and he's going to die. Okay. So all he cares about is drinking and having a good time until he passes. And that I think that is why he is seeming more gruff than what we're used to, at least, in the present time. Okay. And the way, you know, why he just shrugs Robert off, who is almost meek as a church mouse. Mm-hmm. And we find out that Wyatt wants Doc to meet him in purgatory. Bobo even mentions an opening for sheriff, and we do know that Doc was the sheriff at some point, but it wasn't this point. Right. <laughs> Once again, Doc isn't interested, and Bobo takes his leave. We hear a gunshot, causing everyone to run and take cover. Winona overhears a couple talking about Wyatt Earp and the name Clutie. Aha! So we have some more information. Yes, Winona figures out that her vision quest has to do with how the curse began. So back at the church, she sees Robert is injured, possibly dying, and a scuffle appears to have happened as papers and debris are strewn all over the sanctuary. Yes. And then she sees a bevy of familiar faces inside the church. A young, constant Clutie. Interesting. Very. Juan Carlo, dressed as a priest. Okie dokie. Yeah, that was a bit of a shocker for me. (laughs) It made sense. And, of course, the Black Widows. In a box. Yes. So Juan Carlo did box the Widows way back. Then, yes. and it wasn't Black Badge who boxed them. Unless he was Black Badge. Mm, very true. Very true. Good thing. Now, it's revealed that Constance's husband is dead, thanks to Wyatt Earp, and it was Robert who managed to make it all happen by standing in front of Constance's husband and having Wyatt shoot through him to get to the husband. But this is when things go bad for Robert. Yes. Because Constance reveals what her husband said. Yeah. And she's like, didn't you hear him when he was muttering a curse? And I love it because he's like, what are you talking about? But it's like they kind of go back to that. That comes a little bit later because, you know, Constance is like, listen, we need to keep these sisters locked up. Yes. So these three things will act as a seal to keep them to make sure they never rise again. Mm-hmm. And Juan Carlo will be granted immortality for it. And you have to do this with blood and don't tell each other where it is because we don't want to screw it up. Right. So Bobo, you know, manages, I'm sorry, Robert, goes off, puts his seal wherever he put his seal, comes back and tells Constance, I need help. I need help. And she's like, yes. oh, but... Wyatt's cursed for killing my son, so whoever he kills with the gun, right to hell. But you'll rise on it when he dies, but then it'll keep going and going and going. Because Juan Carlo does not know about this at this point. No. And I was like, that is a shit thing to do, Constance. Yeah, to say the least. Right. So it's like, okay, well, what do I do? What can I do? And she's like, well, give me the bones of my son. He's like, hmm. No, what else? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, not happening. Okay, well, come to this well. Guess what? Guess who's down there? And guess where my seal is? Yes. Which, I'm like, wait a second. So, uh, Doc's ring is one of the seals. Yep. But if any of the seals are broken, then her husband, who is a demon, will rise. Right. But if Bobo gets the ring, I'm sorry again, Robert, gets the ring from Doc, then he will have... The immortal life. But yes. if that were to happen, then Robert wouldn't have two seals. True. So that would be bad, too. Yes. And I will have questions for you in just a second. <laughs> so Constance, like, listen, you can get it. You can survive. You can give me the bones. You can survive. Your choice. And she just kind of walks off like, ah, okay, bye. And you got Robert like, well, shit, I need the ring. Okay. He throws down thread. He's like, hey, friend. I love it. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in the bottom of the well. I don't think right. I'm anybody, anybody's my friend right now. Yes. He's like, uh, I don't know you. Right. Give me that ring and then I'll go get help for you to get you out. And he's like, yeah, I don't think so. Why don't you go get help? Then I'll give you the ring. So obviously they're at an impasse, right? Right. And Robert's like, 
Whatever. Bye. Yeah. And this is my question because he was not healed yet, right? Right. Because we've seen in a flashback previously that Wyatt had seen Doc healed and he was basically with women because right. Doc's like, these people are after me and these revenants and you're whooping it up. But the way they're making it sound is that Doc is in the well starting from here. Yeah. And that doesn't make any sense. Okay. I'm glad it wasn't just me then. Yeah. No, I, I definitely want uh, Emily to clear clarify this one because, well, no, I guess that does make sense too. Okay. If he had already made, if she had already made the deal with Constance mm-hmm. before we see this even. Okay. And Wyatt had already visited Doc like we saw. Okay. Then afterwards, Doc would still be crabby as all get out and not wanting to have anything to do with Wyatt. So Wyatt sending Robert was like his olive branch after that meeting? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. That's about the only way I can kind of even come close to justifying all this in my head right off the bat like that. Okay, that's what I wasn't sure. Yeah, and I'm still, I'm not sure that that's actually right either, but that, that almost has to be. Mm-hmm. All right, Erpers, who knows? Let, let us know, Zone Podcast at gmail.com. Yep, because we definitely saw Wyatt meet Doc in season one, and... He was healthy. He was cured. Yeah. Right. And it wasn't in the well. Right, right. So go ahead and, why don't you continue what's happening with poor Robert? <laughs> All right, well... Winona finds Bobo lying on the church floor reciting the Bible, and she is shocked that he can actually see her. Yeah, and is talking to her. I was like, what is happening? Right. But then again, he's close to death, so. Oh, okay. That might have something to do with it. And, of course, she explains that they will meet again in the future, and then we see... Bobo insisting that he will protect her and never lay a finger on her. Which, of course, is interesting, because right yes. before this is when she calls him Bobo. Right. But he also had said, your your face has in, been in my vision all my life. Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Does she do another one of these and she goes back further or something? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, it may be. Now, of course, Winona herself begins to fade away from the vision quest, almost as, as if she's dying as well. And you go, wait, wait, no, 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 right. no. And, of course, Bobo cradles her in his arms and asks for the name of his guardian angel. Winona whispers, Waverly. I was dying. I'm like, oh, that. what's going on? Yes. <laughs> And then she slips away, and you kind of go, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Right. But they didn't. (laughs) Well, then Bobo, well, Robert, is, like, running, and he's ringing the church bell and keeps ringing and keeps ringing it. And then we're back in, like, present day. Right. That kind of, that was what woke Winona up from her near-death experience. And that's what got the fire volunteers there right and i was like wait a minute and you know because ewan says oh that was a good idea ringing the bell to doc and doc's like i didn't ring the bell what are you talking about and it was almost like Uh, doc didn't even hear it right i mean not doc dolls sorry yeah (laughs) sorry (laughs) wrong but it was almost like he didn't hear it at all right i thought that was weird and then again yeah like you know she says waverly and we see bobo carrying waverly out from the water so i'm like all right so did Winona intentionally do that, or because she was slipping, Robert kept saying about my angel, and Waverly is like Winona's angel. Right. You think that's what it was? Well, hmm. no, I really believe that was Winona's way of protecting Waverly. Okay. If Robert thinks that Waverly is his guardian angel, he's not going to harm her. Okay. And that's probably why, you know, you think, okay, Waverly said she had this imaginary friend and it ended up being Bobo. Well, she could still be an ERP and just 
because Bobo came back, he's been protecting Waverly from the revenants. That's really interesting. And could have said, you know, could have saved her. Now she did say Papa and you go, mm, well, mm, mm. and it could just because Waverly preferred him over her father. Yeah, she did say how. That's why she called him Papa. Yeah, and say, because why not just say how her mom always said she was her little angel and her That's, dad was always kind of a jerk. Yep. So, yeah, I guess it could have been anything like that. Oh, it's crazy. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. This one had me, like, all over the place. Oh, but, man, we got some backstory. Oh, it was good. Yes. And, of course, um, Emily tweets out a um, a picture, uh, a, a gif of kind of this marshmallowish thing running as bombs are going off beside it. Like it's just trying to avoid getting completely blown up. And she said, that's her after the next three episodes. Oh, no. Yes. So, but of course, she's been doing this kind of stuff all season. That's right. She's been doing that with a uh, cat. Nicole. Oh, yeah. So Constantly. Like, take that, you know, with a grain of salt, but. <laughs> quit messing with us. Yes. Oh, all right. So please rate and review us on all the the platforms you're finding us on. We do hope you like what we're doing here. And obviously, if you're listening to us, we're assuming you like the show. <laughs> you like Why Nona Earp because we're all Erpers and it's awesome. But we want to hear from you. So make sure you go over to www.fangirlzone.com. Check out the contacts page. Send us email, tweets, Facebook messages, whatever, because this is crazy. and. I don't know. I I have a feeling that we're all going to be emotionally wrecked for a while. Yes. (laughs) For this episode of Sci-Fi Talk, I am Sean Fangirl S. And I'm Steve. When am I? And until next time.